Wealth of livestock means Africa has enormous potential in the leather market. According to Common Market for Eastern Southern African Leather and Leather Products Institute, African countries share only 3.3% of the $300 billion global leather industry. Yet it supplies 26% of the world's livestock. VOS Caroline Turner has more. At Jamaica Shoe Factory in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, leather designs are manufactured. Tesfe Bayin runs the business, founded by his father in 1970. Today, he has 125 employees, which produce 160,000 pairs of shoes a year. We are exporting these shoes to a Japanese client called Hiroki in Yokohama. We have so far shipped three times for them. They have bought 10,000 pairs of shoes and they have placed new orders again for which we are preparing the raw materials. Last year, Ethiopia earned 250 million U.S. dollars from leather exports and plans to double that in five years. Like many leather-producing countries in Africa, Ethiopia is looking to promote and develop its leather industry through partnerships that can help it trade globally. At the recent All-African Leather Fair in Addis Ababa, industry players exchanged ideas and marketed their products. Researchers say Africa could boost leather sales by focusing on finished goods instead of raw exports. The director of the Kamesa Leather Products Institute organized the fair. Global value chain um, is around 300 billion worth of value in U.S. dollars. Unfortunately, Africa only gains around 3.3% to around 4% max, while we are actually supplying 26% of the livestock to the world. So you can look at this vast gap, and it tells you that Africa is actually on the losing group. Africa is a fast-growing market source for leather. So far, Comesa is working with eight African countries to market their leather. Ethiopia boasts the largest livestock production in Africa and the 10th largest in the world. The managing director of Bobby Leathers, Uganda, says Africa should employ new technology in processing its leather into finished products. Uh, like uh, five years ago, uh, much of the leather wasn't processed. We are exporting uh, raw hides, but uh, today exportation was banned. Now, uh, much of it is semi-processed, but even that, that's not good enough. We want, when, when, when we are at the fair, you can see, there is no any, everything is finished. You see, finished leather of different grades. This is where we want to go. This is what we don't have there in my country. Uh, we process at up to one stop stage. Another way to boost Africa's share of the leather market would be to partner with countries like India. Working together, some say, will allow African companies to compete with the influx of cheap Chinese goods and manage rising raw material costs and labor shortages. They don't have the raw material that can push them from 13 billion U.S. dollar to 27 billion U.S. dollar, which they aim to have in the next five to ten years. They will have to work with Africa. The question is, are we ready to work with the rest of the continents in the world and also satisfy the demand of leather and leather products within this particular uh, continent? The Food and Agriculture Organization says African countries still face challenges entering world markets because they often lack reliable data and the quality of processed leather demanded by consumers. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.